Hi there! Welcome to Solve Stack from Scratch series. In this first episode of the series, I'm going to show you how to install the latest versions of a couple of Solve Stack components, the Salt Master and the Salt Minion. To do that, I prepared three servers. I have my 200 server on which I'm going to install Salt Master, and then I have a 201 and 202, and those two I'm going to install the minions. Installing Salt components on Debian is pretty easy as they already exist in the Debian's default repository. Unfortunately, Debian doesn't keep up to date and if you just run with what's in their repository, you may end up with an older version. So what we're going to do here today is we're going to add the Salt projects repositories and that way we're going to get the latest versions of the software. So if you look here, you see that uh, what comes from Debian's repository is a little bit outdated. So uh, we get version 3002. And so to get the latest version, you can go to the Salt Project IO website and then go to Downloads. And then find the uh, operating system that you're running. And in my case is Debian and my version is 11. And from here you can get the latest release. In my case, I'm just going to get the latest one. I'm going to run this, get the key, and then I'm going to go back here to get the, to add the repository. And the next thing I'm going to do is run apt update. And now if you run this uh, first command, the apt cache Madison South master, we're going to see now we have access to version 3004 that comes from the Salt Project repo. Okay, now we have that. I'm going to go ahead and run apt install salt dash master. And then while this is running, I'm going to go ahead and add the salt project repos to my minions as well. So I'm going to put the keys first. Then again, I'm going to add the repo and run apt update. All right, now that those are updated, I can do the same. Just run apt install salt dash minion. And the other one, apt install salt dash minion. I misspelled this. There you go. All right, while these two are installing, I'm going to go back to my master. This installation here had completed. So I'm going to run service salt master status to see if it's up and running. And there you go, you can see the server is up and running. I can run salt-key to check if there's any minions. And as we expected, it's a brand new server, no minions yet have connected to it. I'm gonna go back to my minions. They're both installed, hopefully at this point. There you go, they are. So now I'm gonna check their status as well, just to see and make sure that they're up and running, because. Technically, you know, the minions have to connect to your server, right? So, and as we can see here, they're not showing yet. So let's check their status to make sure that they're up and running. So we're going to do service salt minion status. And there you go. You can see your minion is up and running, but we see an error here. It says master hostname salt not found, not responsive. And this is why the minion is not showing on the, on the master. It's because it doesn't know how to get to it. Now the default configuration file for the minion, let's see, salt minion, default configuration is looking for salt. And since it, we don't have a DNS server that tells us where salt is, the minion doesn't know how to get to it. So there are a couple ways to resolve this. One is you can just come here and do put the address of your master server. So 192, 168, in our case is 0, 200. Or the other option is, I'm gonna do that on our second minion, is what you can do is you can go and edit your hosts file 
And here you can make an entry for it. Did you say 182.168.0.200? And you can call this south. There you go. And then you can do uh, service south dash minion restart to restart the service. And I'm going to copy and paste this on the other machine to make sure that restart service is here. And now if I come here and run this, I will see both minions trying to connect to the servers and their keys are not accepted yet. Now, so as you can see, there are two ways to fix that. One is to do it in a host file and add an entry for salt that points to um, your master. Or you can just go to the minion configuration file and put the IP of your master, or you can uh, put the name of it if you have a DNS server that has an entry for it. So once we have that, we see the two minions here, they're trying to connect to the server, the keys haven't been accepted yet, so they're still unmanaged. So to accept their keys, you run salt-key, and you can just do uppercase A to accept all of them, or if you do lowercase A, you're gonna have to list the name of each minion in my case. I'm gonna run uppercase A. It's gonna tell me that you know these two are gonna try to be accepted. I'll say yes. They're both accepted. And now if I do L dash L, I will see both minions with accepted keys, which means that now I can run commands against them and I can manage these two. So I'm just gonna run a couple of test commands. So let's say we're gonna run salt like this, and we can do test.ping. That way we can see if they're both alive, which they are. And then let's do one more test. We're just gonna try to install a package in one of them. So let's say on the 201, my favorite midnight commander, and it's not there. Now, if I wanna install that remotely from my master, all I have to do is say salt, and then give it the name of the minion, 201. Or if I use the star, I can install it to both of them, but in this case, I'm just gonna run it on a single one. I'm gonna do cmd, oops, cmd.run, and in quotes, I can say the command that I wanna execute on that minion. So in my case, it's gonna be apt install midnight commander mc. And then run that, it takes, few seconds to get it done, but there you go, it got installed. So now if I go on 201 and run MC, we have Midnight Commander installed. And that's pretty much it. Uh, please stay tuned for my next video in which I'm gonna show you um, how to create formulas for salt and run them against your minions. Thank you for watching.